This is OSIRIS-REx, a NASA spacecraft on a journey to the near-Earth asteroid Bennu. It's a mission with a close connection to NAU and one that Assistant Professor of Astronomy, Christina Thomas, is involved in. I joined the team in 2013 and that was before it actually existed as a physical spacecraft. And so I was really excited to watch it, them build it up and uh, actually then get to go to the launch and now see as these images first start to come down. There are only a small number of near-Earth objects, or at least small compared to the number of near-Earth objects that we know about, that we can actually visit with spacecraft. We also wanted to visit what we call a primitive object, so something that was more like a carbonaceous chondrite, something that uh, shows us the very origins of the solar systems. Launched in the fall of 2016, OSIRIS-REx reached Bennu in December of 2018. Its primary goal is to collect regolith samples from the surface. Before that occurs, however, nearly a year and a half of spectroscopic analysis must take place, which will give vital data about Bennu's surface temperature and composition. This is important to ensure the safety of the spacecraft, as well as finding the best location for acquiring the most interesting regolith sample. There are two different spectrometers on OSIRIS-REx. There's OVIRS, which uh, focuses on the visible and near-infrared wavelengths, and so uh, the visible being the part of the wavelength region that we can actually see with our eyes, and the near-infrared uh, being slightly past uh, the red wavelengths, essentially. Uh, and then there's a thermal spectrometer, which are uh, essentially the thermal wavelengths, uh, the things that we might perceive as heat, or something like that, but there, it's broken down in a very similar way. And so in both of those wavelength regions, we can actually see very diagnostic features uh, that are tied to composition. If all goes as planned, OSIRIS-REx will return to Earth in September of 2023 with a small sample of regolith from Bennu, as well as a wealth of other spacecraft data that will keep scientists busy for years. As for Christina, this mission provides an exciting change from seeing these objects primarily through telescopes. I think that's going to be really interesting as an astronomer uh, coming into this mission, um, this being my, my first spacecraft mission, to see how it works really on the other side. See that transition in real time from a dot on my star field to an actual physical place. Um, so I'm very excited about that.